more ideas to help enhance the conversation around single-use plastic. And to give more power to the pupils. We've developed five lesson plans for plastic-free schools at key stages two and three. They explore how and why we use plastic, what happens to it once we're done, and how it's affecting our coastlines. These plans are designed to integrate with geography, English and maths lessons. You don't have to use them, but they can help by providing deeper learning points for the topics the programme covers. First up, a science lesson where pupils discover what plastic is, why it was created and to understand the properties of polymers. They then conduct a scientific inquiry into single-use plastic products, identifying their properties, uses and environmental implications. Next, an English lesson where pupils debate the idea that the Plastic Free Schools concept should be disregarded until 2042. This helps pupils recognise the importance of seeing an issue like this from all points of view and to present a well-researched, reasoned argument that evolves in response to counter-arguments. This is an English lesson where pupils compare linear and circular economies, particularly around single-use plastic, pollution and climate change. They then write and deliver a speech aimed at encouraging businesses and local councils to move towards circular economies and to introduce systems like deposit return schemes to capture plastic waste. The aim here is to identify and understand elements of public speaking with a focus on organising their content coherently. In this English and Maths lessons, pupils compare the real-life stats from their own clean-up to SAS's Dirty Dozen data and use their findings to write a persuasive letter to a brand whose packaging contributes to plastic pollution. Finally, a geography lesson where pupils discover how plastic pollution is caused and use geographical skills to investigate how plastic pollution is affecting UK coastlines. In each lesson plan you get an editable overview detailing the learning outcomes, the resources you need and links to the national curriculum, a PowerPoint presentation and printable handouts. These lesson plans can all be found on the Plastic Free Schools page on the SAS website. And that's it. Hopefully you'll find it helps the pupils to fully engage with the subject because this is one issue where they really need to learn the power of their voice.